Okay, I gotta ask you. Please, okay, you you from the South? You from Alabama? Montgomery, Alabama, the cradle of the civil rights movement, the Mecca, where it all started uh, in Montgomery, there you Alabama. Go. Montgomery, Alabama. So y'all y'all down the street from Atlanta, not too far away. You you got to remember Freaknik. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you did you used to go to Freaknik? I went a couple of times. Believe it or not, man, I've never. I'm, I've I've always been an introvert. You know, I've never been a, a person. That's why my wife, uh, my wife just snatched me up when I got out here. Man, I came out here to uh, L.A. I just, uh, you know, finished college, or at least I thought, and then I uh, I moved out here. So I went from my mom's house to living out here, and I was like a country bumpkin, man. I used to wear the shirts with the the, the, the checkerboard pockets on it and everything. And, you know, we were working on the Nutty Professor. Uh, I introduced Dave Chappelle. And uh, I was in that scene. If you go back and look at it now, you'll see me introduce Dave Chappelle, Reggie Warrington. Give it up for Reggie Warrington. And he comes out and he does a little thing. And my wife saw me from the corner of the room and she came up and she claimed she thought I was somebody else and made conversation. Uh, so, yeah, I, you know, I, I just got off the truck, man. So uh, when it came, when, you know, things like Freaknik and stuff like that, I was familiar. I went a couple of times with, with friends or whatever, but it was just too buck wild for me to you know, boom, 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 boom. So I know what it is. I went a couple of times, but nah, man, I I, I wasn't, you know, and, and I, I've just never been a party, party person, you know, never have, and uh, even to this day. Okay, um, but you're aware of it, and, and, and you use the word to describe it, it was buck wild, which it was. Long, long before there was social media, you know, dudes used to run around with camcorders back in the days. And a lot of the women, they was out there getting buck wild. And a lot of dudes had their camcorders and kept that footage. Now, fast forward 25 years later, those same women who were in college, who went out there, got buck wild for the weekend, videotaped, those tapes sat dormant for years and years and years, now they're being put together and being put out in a documentary about the 1996 Freaknik. And so many women are scared to death. You got five prominent women, doctors, lawyers, women who are now not just mothers, but their grandparents. They are literally suing so that this documentary never sees the light of day. Wow. I mean, is that I, 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 not some crazy crap? You know what the crazy, the, the funny thing about that is, is that most of them are probably not suing because, you know, they're in, because of the actual content. Most of them are probably suing because of what they used to look like and what they look like now. You understand? So, you know, you hear slim, petite, fine. You know, people are like, you used to look like that. That's you? That's <laughs> what they don't want to get out. You know what I'm saying? You were skinny at one point. When was this? So, you know, <laughs> I think that's the more, more embarrassing thing because they were aware that those cameras were rolling. They knew oh, they was 100% aware. It, it, huh? They was 100% aware. Yeah, you know, because I, I went to those. It wasn't like, you know, people were secretly recording. And, no, they stay in front of the camera dancing. Ah, 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 ah. But now, you know, 160 pounds later, it's like, nah, you can't show that. So that's that's what that is. Trust me. <laughs> Oh, oh, yo, you got me dying over here. I'm telling you, you know what's the crazy thing? Because some of these women got daughters themselves and they've been on them since birth. Don't put this stuff up on social media. They screaming at their daughters and now their daughters got to look and be like, really? Yeah, exactly. That exactly. was you? Ex that my, back to that. That was you? Exactly. Exactly. Skeletons in the closet. But you know, um, you know, but I agree with the women, uh, um, you know, on that point, because if somebody's going to release something like that, they should be compensated. You know, you, you, you're in the music industry. I'm in it. You know, it's all connected. But release forms have to be signed unless I think what breaks that, because my, my major was in print journalism. If something is being done under the auspices of news or like documentary footage, I don't think you, I think they have a right that they, they, can, they can air that. So there's a way you can finagle it to where you can, uh, 
to where it can be put out without their uh, consent. Yeah, I, I I can't wait to see how this one is going to fall. But, you know, there are a lot of people who went on to do amazing things in their life. And that was just a, a, a wild moment that they had. And now, it you know, they, they going to walk into the office, you know, they doctor such and such or they are, you know, have an Esquire behind their name. They're lawyers now, they're accountants and CPAs and people are going to be like, yo, are you like, are you serious? I think that's I, I, great. I think that's wonderful. We need more of that. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you like to know what your doctor used to do or that they were, they're normal people? You understand what I'm saying? When you go there and you say, hey, I saw your video. That was awesome. When you did that, when you pulled it down all the way on the thing like that, because I was beginning to think that you were just this normal person. But now this this cosign that you are a regular person just like me. What you doing after this? You want to go out and get a drink or something? I think that's great. So hold on. You think it's going to work in their favor? No, I don't know if it's going to work in their favor because of the way society is. But it should work in their favor. It should work in their favor. Because, you know, we all are human. We all were young at some point in time. We all have uh, 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 things that we've done in life that we're not necessarily proud of, but that show that we we come from humble beginnings and that we were human at one point in time. And I think that's the problem with society is that we're building people up and, 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 and we're starting to follow people and give them too much credit for being, you know, perfect or upright or, 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 or in this light. And, and, and that's not the case. And that's one of the beautiful things about stand-up comedy. That's why we love comedians because we expose their side. When Bernie Mac came out and he talked about, you know, his, his sister on drugs and having to raise those kids. You know, when you hear these stories, Richard Pryor talking about how he used to use drugs, we expose ourselves, but everybody else is trying to stay in a closet. And that's not how life is. So, you know, I don't know if it'll backfire on them, but I, I, I just think it's great. I know, you know, it, I would find some solace if I had a doctor or a lawyer or one of these people that uh, these in, in this professional light and I found that out about them. I don't think it would, you know, taint my my vision of them unless it was something, you know, they did that was perverted or something, you know, that 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 crossed over the 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 lines of being legal or something like that. But just partying out, having fun. Come on, man, we've all done that, you know. I I, I think that's great. No, I think that's a I think that's a dope perspective that you just bring up. I I, I definitely do. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.